Okay, just like that, we are back in Spain. Good morning, guys. And firstly, as this is my first vlog of the year, I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and is looking forward to the new year. For me, it was spent here in Grimsby and it was a great opportunity to catch up with family, friends, um, lots of food, lots of drinking. I even managed to go to Centre Parks for three days, a concert in Nottingham, and then on New Year's Eve, I went to Leeds to the Snow Dome for some indoor skiing. Let me just show you these guys. He didn't look too happy. But yeah, anyway, I was supposed to go back to Ibiza for New Year's Eve, but of course, COVID complicated things. Not for me, thankfully, but it did mean that I had to change my flights, change my plans, but uh, taking the positives from that, it meant that I got to spend more time here in Grimsby with my friends and family. It is now time for me to go back to Ibiza and hopefully warmer climates. The weather is due to take a turn for the worse in the UK apparently, so I might just be leaving at the right times. Um, some of you may be thinking of taking a holiday, traveling south, finding some sunnier climates. So the main purpose of this vlog is for me to show you how easy it is to travel back to Spain from the UK at the present time. Manchester Airport. Um, it took just over two and a half hours to get on the train from Grimsby. Now I have arrived three hours before my flight. One of the reasons is because there's been a lot of train delays um, but another reason yesterday I received an email from Ryanair saying there's going to be big queues at security so we will have to see how that goes. But one thing I always do at Manchester is I do pay the extra five pound for the fast track security because I know what um, the queues can be like here. That's the bag drop complete, pretty smooth. Um, I was two kilograms over and Ryanair wanted to charge another 11 pound, but um, juggled them around between my suitcase and my hand luggage and all is okay. Security, we're being very thorough today. As always, you have to empty your pockets, take your belt off, um, everything out your bags. But today everyone had to take off the shoes and have those scanned. I also had, had to go through the body scanner and be swabbed, so yep, they've been extra precautious today, or maybe I just look a little bit dodgy, I don't know. So the route that I'm going to be taking today is Manchester to Barcelona, and then my plans have changed slightly, and I'm not going to be going back to Ibiza for another four or five days, but I'll explain why my plans have changed in a little while. Just have a look at some of the other departures. I don't know if you can see, but we have Istanbul, we have Dubai, Gran Canaria, Isle of Man, Aberdeen, Faro. Which one of those would you like to go to? And another one of the reasons that I've arrived at the airport so early is because I want to go into one of the airport lounges. Um, I've mentioned before, but I have a subscription with a company called Priority Pass, and I have about five passes left to use before March. So I thought this was a good occasion as any to do that. In the lounge 
no problem at all. Um, there's only about five people in the entire lounge, so this is the quietest I've ever seen this lounge and probably another one. So I'm gonna make the most of that in a second. But just before I do, I just wanted to talk about the entry requirements of getting into Spain if you are a tourist and you're flying in from the UK. At the moment, and I have to stress it is at the moment because things are changing quite often, um, all that is required to enter Spain as a tourist is you need proof of a double vaccination. So at the moment, Spain aren't accepting negative PCR tests, negative lateral flow tests. You must have a double vaccination to be allowed into the country for tourism purposes. And I do believe that there is gonna be a review and update at the end of January, so please watch out for that. I will put the links to the government websites in the description below, so you can check that and keep up to date. Um, okay, the food in here smells really good, so I've got two hours, I'm gonna go make the most of that. If I could just ask a quick favor, if you could just hit the like button, and also if you haven't already, I'm sure you have, but please do hit the subscribe button as it does help the channel a lot. go now really enjoyed that I uh, managed to have some salad chicken very spicy uh, spinach curry but it was very nice also a scone or scone whichever way you say it um, but yeah the, the lounge still hasn't filled up still the same amount of people in here and uh, maybe that's just a sign of the times people not traveling I don't know let's see what it's like on the plane okay guys let's go to Barcelona <laughs> Okay, just like that, we are back in Spain. So really easy process, just as always, it was the passport control. And then as you came through, you just had to have your QR code ready with your passenger locator form. So very simple process. So this is where I was gonna carry on and fly to Ibiza, but yesterday I changed my plans and I've arranged to fly on to Alicante to meet my girlfriend, Antonia. I'm gonna spend a few days there um, celebrating the Three Kings Festival. The only issue is the flight doesn't leave until two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I've had to book a hotel in Barcelona for the night. On hold to the hotel. Still on hold to the hotel. Still on hold to the hotel. Hi, hello. Um, I, I have a reservation tonight with the transfer from the airport and I'm just at the airport now. As it's eight o'clock now, I'm gonna have to be back here um, around about midday tomorrow. I didn't fancy going into the center of Barcelona. I didn't think there was much point. So I've booked a hotel very close to the airport, mainly because they offer a free shuttle and I'm just waiting for them to arrive now. And I just thought I would show you this bus. That is the Andorra Express, so anyone that wants to fly into Barcelona and head up to Andorra skiing, snowboarding, you can just hop on the bus here and it will take you directly to Andorra. First impressions of the hotel are fairly good. It's only a 15 minute drive from the airport, which is the main reason that I'm staying here tonight. 
but let's have a quick spin around the room. It's quite old fashioned and not too modern style, but that's fine. It's quite a small room, but here we have a big double bed, which is great. You have the flat screen TV. Then let's go check out the view. I'm not sure if we will see much. No, not at the minute. Uh, down there where the lights are changing colours, if you can see that, I believe that is where the swimming pool is. So hopefully in the morning I will get a chance to check that out. A kettle. That's always a positive because in many Spanish hotels that you don't have a kettle, but there must be lots of English people or lots of tea drinkers here. Also some little chocolates with Merry Christmas on. I have to be careful of those because I have a nut allergy, so uh, I have to stay clear of certain chocolates. Then we have the mini bar. Uh, it's good to see that we have things in there because in some of the hotels that I've stayed in recently, they haven't been putting anything in for COVID reasons. And let's go back through here into the bathroom. Nice, clean marble tiles, your toiletries, a bath and then also we have a bidet but I'm not sure if anybody ever uses those Then just here we have a wardrobe with a safe okay guys I'm gonna leave the vlog there just for tonight um, and then tomorrow morning when I wake up we'll just carry on the final part where I'm gonna be going back to the airport Barcelona airport and flying south to Alicante where hopefully it's a little bit warmer so good night and see you tomorrow morning guys from Barcelona it's just before quarter past ten and almost time to leave the hotel last night I just went down to the hotel reception and had some food and Mallorca were playing Barcelona on the TV so it was quite lively down there uh, and then this morning I've just had a quick run around the local area and also a very quick dip in the hotel swimming pool I thought while I was here in the hotel do have one I would make use of it but there was nobody else around so I don't think the hotel is very busy Obviously, this vlog is me leaving the UK to come back into Spain, but if you saw one of my previous vlogs, um, it was the opposite way around. And anyone that is traveling back into the UK from an overseas country currently needs to have a COVID test at least 48 hours before arrival. But there is talk on the news today that that is all going to change and that is going to be scrapped. So that will make life a lot easier for all of us. So fingers crossed that happens too. It's much more strict in Spain with the face masks than it is in the UK. I have half an hour to wait now until my transfer. So I just thought I'd show you the outside of the hotel. Seeing as I arrived and it was dark last night. It is in quite a industrial area, but that's because it's so close to the airport. There it is. And I noticed a little Spanish cafe just across the road opposite. So rather than uh, go in the hotel bar, I'm going to pop across there and get a cafe con leche and go to the airport. Okay, that is my bag checked in and through security. It is quite busy, so it took about 15 minutes to get through. Had to take the shoes off again, but all through now and have about two hours before my flight. So this is Barcelona Terminal 1. It's quite a modern place. And if anyone is thinking of flying to Ibiza in the winter, this is one of the main connections. And um, you've got plenty to do here if you do have to wait for a few hours. Shops, cafes, bars, restaurants even have a Barcelona club shop there. And then also in this airport, you have an outside area, which is inside the terminal. So while I've got a few hours, I will show you around terminal one.
So initially when I set out to do this vlog, I always planned to end it in Ibiza. So apologies if anyone was expecting or hoping to see Ibiza Airport, but I will be back there in a few days time. So if you do have any ideas, please do let me know and I will try and make a vlog about those for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. It's been lots of traveling, lots of airports, um, but I hope you've, you've realized how easy it, the process is to travel from the UK to Spain. It's not complicated at all. Uh, also, if ever you find yourself in Barcelona airport, you've had a little bit of a tour there. So, okay guys, thanks once again. Please do like and hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next vlog.